Now that we have uh, Joe's resume complete, let's take a look at the cover letter. But uh, something else that we need is the address, address of the uh, location. And we'll need this for a couple reasons. We'll need this because we're going to be using it in our cover letter, and we also need to know where to send the documentation. So let me go ahead and pull up the company's website to see what we can find. Okay, now that we have our browser up, let's go ahead and type in the name of the company. Okay. Okay. Yep, this looks like the same place with textiles and yeah, healthcare hospitality. Okay. This this looks like it's the one. Let me check the location. Location at headquarters is in Cincinnati, so we're good there. I do want to first start to see um, maybe if they put the hiring uh, manager's name in the career section. current openings. And this is just also another good validation that the position actually exists. Okay, there it is, Marketing Research Analyst. Okay, same information we saw before as far as the description, but it's on the, uh, but it's on uh, their website. Okay, and I don't see anything with a hiring manager, which that's okay, because I'm going to show you how to, how to go about, um, doing it without that. So since you know the positions in Cincinnati, let's just go to that contact page we were at before. There it is. So, hmm, okay. All right, on the left-hand side, you can see, okay, there's their corporate headquarters and the Cincinnati address. It looks like they just have phone numbers for the department. So they, there's no separate addresses for human resources. Hmm. Okay, so what we'll use is we'll use this address, the one uh, Noel Crest Drive in Cincinnati, Ohio. And um, we'll just have to make a, we'll just have to uh, send two, two resume packets, uh, one for the human resources manager and then one for the hiring manager and we'll just we'll mark those when we send them that way uh, when HR gets it they'll know to give one to the uh, hiring manager and then one's for them to review all right let's go to the cover letter okay now we have our cover letter uh, template up let's go ahead and uh, look look at this I know we discussed it before but you'll always want to put your address at the very top here. So let's go ahead and put in what we had on the resume, which is 123 Grove Street. And that was in Cincinnati, Ohio. Oh. Cincinnati, Ohio, 45201. And smith at gmail.com remember we got rid of that hotmail that 902101 just because it was um a little on the edgy side you definitely don't want anything edgy with your email and we'll go ahead and put today's date which today is may 19th space down to you make sure you want to keep a space between uh, these two sections and since we don't know the name, we're going to actually just put uh, human resources. We'll actually create two cover letters. Um, you want to create one for human resources, and then you're going to cr create one for the hiring manager. So, and this is not the ABC company. Okay, let me get the exact name here. the standard textile company and actually you can just copy over the address just make sure you paste as a paste as, um, text only 
that way you don't mess up with the formatting. Okay, that looks good. Um, and since we don't know who it is, let's just say to whom it may concern. Okay. Okay, and then you want to space in between here, and then you want to space here. Okay, and you you can feel free to update add language to this, but this is just what we use for the template, so that's what I recommend. I do um, think it's vital, so let's take a look at the first sentence first. I am interested in learning more about the job title position. Okay, obviously you're not going to write job title, but you want to put the actual title for the position, which is market research analyst. It's not going to do us any good to send a to send a a resume packet if they're not knowing what position we're applying for. So make sure it matches exactly what what they have posted. So it says, I'm interested in learning more about the market research analyst position. So in addition to completing a master's degree in business administration with a specialization in information systems, I have achieved the following. So we need to update this template language to say bachelor's, a bachelor's of business administration in management with a minor in marketing. Okay. So that looks good. Okay. Perfect. All right, and like I mentioned before, you want to make sure that we kind of make the points more focused on your experience than your education. I do think it's valuable to add the education piece in that second sentence, but just to kind of help lead off saying, oh, in addition to me having education, I have the following experience. Okay, and let's... So what we can say here is I have over three years of marketing experience with two years of direct analyst experience. So it's saying that, you know, with the company ABC, I had uh, I had that internship experience, which I believe is correct. Let me check that. No, sorry. Company DEF was the internship, and company ABC was the business analyst uh, experience. So with the business analyst experience, you had the two years. And then at, with the internship, you had a you had a year of experience, but you don't want to like mislead them in your position. You can say, okay, well, of over three years of marketing experience with two years of direct anal analyst experience, because in truth, you only had two years directly focused on an analyst position, though you did some analysis in your internship. Okay, point two is advanced technical skills and business intelligence software experience so it's like the it's that, it's that skill set we talked about before it's microsoft office it's the built business intelligence software it's the web design it's the business analytics skill set you have so they can see all that when they open your resume so you don't really have to list it out again um, and you can mention here for the third point continued professional development with the american marketing association so this just shows that you're passionate about marketing and you're passionate about what you do and that you're involved. So I think that's I think that's a good way to go. You're starting with, okay, I have three years of experience, I have technical skills, and I'm passionate about what I'm doing. Very strong points so that the uh, interviewer or the person reviewing your resume packet has a good sense of who you are and uh, really, if you're passionate about wanting the position or not, which to me, it seems like this looks like a very strong statement. Then you always want to wrap it up with saying, I believe our interview together will allow me to show you how my competencies best meet the demands for the position. Okay, and then that is strong. Okay, and then at the bottom here, let's put Joe Smith, DBA. Make sure this is all formatted correctly. 
looks good to me. Now what you want to do is you want to print this out and then you want to sign this space in blue ink. All right, let's go to the next section.